always sure. curious. One other issue before we talk briefly about the Louisiana U.S. Senate race, and that is the um, the, the issue of his his business. Okay, I mean, I, I wrote about this. Uh, it you know actually what came from uh, uh, an article um, from the Washington Post, and that is um, how does he separate his current business from his future business? You know, his kids his kids um, are supposed to run you know his his business. He's going to put that in blind trust. You don't, that's impossible. You know, you cannot put, he cannot put his business into blind trust that is run by his kids. He's going to know what his kids are doing. His kids are going to know what he is doing. You know, it's not the same thing as putting it in blind trust, say like when Jimmy Carter put his business you know, in blind trust and had absolutely no control, no idea what, what, you know, if it was, if anything was going to be sold, not sold, whatever. We don't know what his relationships are with his, his partners because we don't have his taxes. You know, um, this is going to be a nightmare. And, uh, you know, I mean, I just don't know how it's going to be how it's going to be done, you know, because, uh, you know, unless his whole family puts the entire business in blind trust and totally lose control of it. You, well, your I thoughts? I the galley, Steve. I know that Michael Bloomberg dealt with that problem, I recall, when he was mayor of New York. And, you know, he's one of the wealthier people in this country. And he, uh, he, he dealt with the issue. I'm sure there will be research, but you're right. There's some real conflicts there. On the other hand, some of the kids have their own businesses. His daughter has a clothing company, and I don't think his dad, maybe his dad was a lender to it or something like that. But you're right. I mean, he, his uh, his uh, properties, successful or unsuccessful, have permeate the country and all over the globe. And so... Well, um, see, and, uh, that's, and that's the difference, if I might. And, and, and to say that, that they do permeate across the, the globe. Now, no president ever has had that type of of um, uh, hold, uh, property holdings, whether it be in the Middle East or in Scotland or you know in in where, wherever. Uh, and dealings in terms of uh, his uh, uh, his his branding. You know the the clothing that is being made in different countries, whether China, etc. You know uh, what I mean. That is a real issue. It's a real issue because there's so many conflicts there. You know there has never been any any president who has had those kind of holdings that we don't even know about. Okay, that's the problem and. You know that I think that's going to, you know, uh, come and haunt him unless he deals with it quickly and openly. Your thoughts, Steve? Uh, I can tell you this: by early next week, there will be a whole team of lawyers in the in the Democratic National Committee that will be charged with nothing but zeroing in on what he does with all these business deals. You can be rest assured they're, they're going to see that as an Achilles. He'll be watching it like a hawk. So as a consequence, you know, they, they, there are ethics lawyers within the White House. We you know, it came out in that uh, Comey scandal that came out. Uh, he'll certainly give legal advice. I, I think he's would not like to remove his children. I don't know what the legal ramifications are. But he'll know that looking over his shoulder, or a whole team of lawyers are going to watch every single move and make it a major issue to undermine his presidency if he doesn't do it completely within the law. So, uh, uh, having known that, uh, I think uh, you know that that would be some advice he's going to have to get. How far do you have to go? I just don't know. But you have to put everything you own in, in, into a blind trust, and and uh, it's going to be difficult for him to say that his kids that run a good part of his co companies. Uh, can't be involved. Does it have to go that far? 
uh, you and I are lawyers. I just don't know that. I don't think there are any laws that apply, and that's that's. It's just like you were dealing taxes. I don't think there's any law that says that a president of the United States has to put anything in blind trust. I don't think that there's any law that says that the family doesn't have control. You know, historically, historically, when um, say uh, presidents have put in blind trust, it hasn't been as, um, or not just presidents, but other people put in blind trust, it hasn't been somebody who has billions of dollars that have such, uh, say, um, has, has such tentacles all over the world. And that's the issue as relates to foreign policy. If we think that the uh, Clinton Foundation was a problem, and it certainly was, we haven't seen anything yet because all that was public. This private business is not public has never been public. His, his taxes have never been made public. His kids' taxes have never been made public. So it really gets in, you know, is, is, it gets into a real area that, you know, is res nova, and we don't have an answer, we don't have a solution. And, you know, it's going to, now that the election is over, I think that those people who have been talking about corruption, um, they're going to have to look very seriously at, okay, look what, look what we have, how do we deal with it? Well, Steve, uh, most of the charges of some type of violations, ethical violations, personal accountability have fallen off. Uh, Donald Trump is the Teflon man. Uh, in three weeks, he's supposed to testify under oath in a court about how he uh, took advantage of an awful lot of students for Trump University. He personally is going to have to be there, even though he's, he's the president-elect of the United States. So he's been able to wing all these things, and I just don't think Donald Trump's going to say, all my holdings got to go into a blind trust, my kids are out of it, we'll have nothing to do with it. And he's going to want to, like you say, when he releases tax returns. But as far as his voters, they don't seem to care. They say, hey... My life's been affected. I'm not doing very well. I want to, I, you know, uh, 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 what, what was the, the quote I heard back when uh, Huey Law, rather when, sure. was it Earl Long maybe run for governor? says, look, uh, uh, I don't mind if he does okay for himself. If he does okay for himself, maybe he'll do a little something for me. <laughs> so I don't think the Trump voters really care about what kind of blind trust or not trust or who runs his companies as long as he doesn't, you know, benefit greatly from it. So, uh, but those are issues. Will well, the be problem is they're not going to know. You know, that's you know, how are they going to know? Well, they, I don't think they, they care, Steve. I don't think they, they want to know. They don't. They, nobody showed a lot of interest in his taxes outside of the press. Well, you didn't hear any humor cry about. Damn it! Show your taxes. No, they just washed off the back. He was. The, he's the guy that said, "I can stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody in the head, and I won't lose a vote." So, if that's the the, the approach to his that his supporters take towards him, it's not all about Donald Trump. It's about cleaning the house in Washington, and they'll tolerate quite a bit about his personal activities so that he hopefully keeps his promise of shaking things up in Washington, D.C. Well, it's going to be very hard, I think, okay? I think it's going to be very hard to try to clean up Washington and drain the swamp, okay, when, you know, he as an issue that ha is totally unresolved and that is totally non-transparent. So, it's, you know, look, I, I, I fully agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying that I hope, you know, that he is able to deal with this because, you know, there, you know, there is going to be questions that are asked. And, yeah, I know the, the argument's going to be, well, the media is out to get him and Congress is not going to maybe – you know, scrutinize what he's doing, and I understand that. But he needs to get ahead of this. You know, he he does. He needs to get ahead of it. Okay, because well, everything. I've got his I've got his personal cell phone number here right in front of me. I'm, why don't I text it to you? And you call and have that visit with him. <laughs> and I think he's going to say, Mr. Steve, I read by you, Buzz. I listen to all your everything you say. I'm a big supporter. But you know what? 
The hell with you. I ain't going to reveal nothing unless I want to. Sure. <laughs> that's how Donald Trump operates. I fully understand. I, I, right I, or wrong, that's one of the reasons he got elected president. So. <laughs> I, I, I fully understand. I, 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 I totally understand. And, uh, you know, but, the, you know, his supporters are the ones that, you know, that didn't like corruption and, uh, you know, didn't like the appearance of any kind of impropriety. You know, and, and so I'm going to respect that they are going to feel the same about the, the person that they uh, spend tremendous amount of resources, energy and time to get elected. So. You know, and look, I think we should try to help him, you know, uh, but I think that he, you know, he needs likewise, you know, to be consistent. So 